What's up top producers, Amanda Fazzolani here. And in this video, we are going to cover four Instagram reels that every real estate agent should be putting out there when it comes to your content marketing strategy. Now, I do wanna let you know that number four is gonna be one of those where you're kind of like, oh yeah, that makes sense, but there's a twist to it. So stay tuned for that. Now, this video is brought to you by Designed for Agents, an e-commerce gear towards helping you succeed in your real estate business. So definitely go check that out at designforagents.com or the link in the description below. We've got daily planners, conversation starter apparel, and a whole lot of marketing uh, pieces that you can get creative with in Canva. So designforagents.com. Now, let's dive in to number one, which is pretty easy to get done you do not have to be a experienced agent you don't have to have a ton of listings to do it and to be honest you don't even have to have ever even closed a deal in order to do this one um so what is it it is creating property tours with instagram reels now what do i mean by you don't have to have a listing you don't have to have closed the deal if you're a brand new agent, chances are you're either touring properties on your own to get a feel for the market or shadowing another agent who's touring properties with a client or a customer of theirs, or um, you know someone in your brokerage has a listing that they can give you keys to and you can go take a video of, right? Now, obviously, depending on the rules in your area, you definitely want to credit uh, whoever the listing agent is if this is the route that you're going. But that's just, you know, the little piece that I want to put out there for newer agents. If you're an experienced agent and you have your own listings, then, you know, awesome power to you. Start making those videos. You might be paying someone to do a, a property video tour for you. That's, you know, HD, 4K, all that jazz, um, as well as uh, photos. But it's it's worth it to take the 30 seconds or so one minute to just kind of do a property tour um, that's native to Instagram Reels because this is going to help you as far as the algorithm goes. Because um, we all know that Reels is super popular now, especially, you know, it's just been growing and growing the last two years. So property tours is the first one, especially because it's so easy. Your face doesn't have to be in it. Um, so just, just go make it, put it out there. But disclaimer, do not make your content solely property tours right i've given this advice time and time again over the years and it's just you know you don't want to become that agent who only has property tours on their profile now let's jump into number two which is actually easy not as easy as the property tours but easier and that is creating behind the scenes content for instagram reels now how exactly does this work right because i feel like a lot of agents we kind of view our day-to-day -day work as sort of like, well, there's paperwork, there's contracts, there's lots of emailing, there's phone calls. How exactly am I supposed to document that, right? Now, the way that you would document this is maybe you could write out a list of certain duties or things that you do on a monthly basis, right? Just make a long, messy list and kind of pinpoint certain things that you can document in one single reel, right? So instead of making a reel where you document your entire day and everything that goes into it, which can take a lot of time, it can be very easy to forget to continue to document that throughout the day, right? It can get complicated. Instead, pick one single thing, like what it takes to submit a, co a contract, right? What does it take to submit an offer? Uh, do that and create an Instagram reel around that particular behind the scenes topic, right? And this is gonna give you basically a never ending uh, list of things that you can create content for, especially with Instagram reels. And you can get really creative about this, um, whether you wanna put your face in it or not, right? Especially if you work with a team member or you have a team and you guys are able to kind of shoot each other or help with the behind the scenes aspect. Uh, it's a really easy way to create more content and you should be showing the behind the scenes because people are super interested in that all right number three is trending fun so that's what i'm going to title it we all know that when it comes to instagram reels there are trending music trends just trends galore and what you want to make sure that you're doing is sprinkling that content in there now i'm not saying that you've got to jump on instagram and start like pointing to things and you know 
dancing or whatever but i do want to put out there that you do want to stay on trend um and by on trend i just mean sprinkle some stuff in there so if you find out that there is a piece of music that is trending or a trend that you feel like you would want to take part in do that the lip syncing thing all of that jazz have fun with it because at the end of the day if you're not having fun with your content strategy then it's just gonna be draining and you're not gonna wanna do it and then you're not gonna generate business organically through social media and yada yada, right? And that's what we teach here. Disclaimer for this one, if you are going to create trending videos based on music, lip syncing, funny things, make sure that this is not the only style of content that you are creating because you can run into the issue of people following you for that comedic content or fun content that has nothing to do really with real estate and then they're confused because they don't even know you're a real estate agent or why they like followed you in the first place and they're thinking they're going to get that content all the time right so just keep that in mind all right number four remember i said earlier in this video that it was going to be one of those things where you're kind of like oh yeah but there's a twist so here it is number four is that you should be creating reels where you answer questions right sort of like it's educational content, right? But you wanna make it sort of Q&A style, right? And the idea is that the reel itself is you answering a common real estate question that a client or customer might have. Now, here's the twist, right? Because obviously you wanna be putting out educational content for buyers and sellers to learn from you and get advice from you, but you don't wanna make it dry, right? I want you to imagine that when you're creating this content and you're looking in the camera, that you're just talking to a friend, right? You you wanna give the same advice that you would give to a friend. And it's that you're, you're keeping it intimate, you're keeping it real, and you're framing the advice where it's just super easy to digest, right? You, you wouldn't use huge real estate lingo to break things down to a friend over lunch, right? You would just speak how you normally would. Right. And that's what I want you to do with Instagram Reels when it comes to that fourth one. Right. Answer these Q&A questions. Now, how can you do this? You can jot down on a piece of paper a bunch of different questions that you've gotten over the years. If you're an experienced agent or if you're a brand new agent, right, you might not know what questions consumers will ask you right? because you haven't worked with that many people. So here's the cheat code for this one. You can just go to an experienced agent probably someone in your office um, or on your team, and you can ask them, hey, can I just get you for three to five minutes? What are some questions that buyers or sellers have asked you over the years? Like just shoot them out to me, right? Now you can either write this down on a piece of paper or just act to record them on your phone so you just have the conversation and then you can take notes later, right? That's a way to make it super easy if you're a brand new agent. So that is number four, honestly, all four of these are super easy to create. You just have to not overthink it and just focus more on putting the content out there and seeing what works. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to your social media content marketing strategy, there's a lot of trial and error that goes into it, right? You can take as much advice as you want from the internet, but at the end of the day, you as an individual, as a marketer, as a business person, as someone who's showing up on social media, you need to become comfortable with what it is that you are creating and how you're putting it out there, right? Because if you're uncomfortable and if it feels very taxing on you, you're not going to want to do it and then you're not going to show up and then that's what's going to lead to that in and out, up and down, those intervals of just not being consistent. And if your goal, if your real goal is to generate business from social media organically without paying for ads, then you want to make sure that you're showing up consistently and getting it done. So those were the four reels that every agent should be creating uh, on Instagram when it comes to their content marketing strategy. If you have another idea, honestly, there are so many, but if you have an idea, put it in the comments below. Let me know that you got to the end of this video. I would love to see what other ideas um, agents come up with you guys in the community and that way we can share it and everyone can just start blasting out content because truth be told, there is enough business out there for all of us. So as always, I'm wishing you a ton of happy new clients, accepted offers, and a whole lot of closings. I'll see you in the next video.